So Richard, it's a rock solid business you've got here. Tell us a bit about it and how you got started. Well, humble beginnings, Alex. Um, originally back in 92, um, I had the smaller retail business called Roof Rack City. And then I was actually selling 40 of these little roof racks every month with fiddly nuts and bolts. And I thought I can definitely make a better mousetrap overall. And I decided to put my house on the line, build these three injection molded dies with the plastic legs and a new commercial bar. Anyway, put it on the line, did it, started wholesaling it, and it worked. Really, a couple of years later, from those humble beginnings, it's just grown. 800 dealers around Australia. We're now exporting around the world. Right. And how's the manufacturing process changed over the last 23 years? Technology has just advanced so far. Whether it be 3D printing, whether it be new extrusion technology and so forth, everything is so much faster. We could come up with a concept in the old days and uh, it would take you six months to really get that project up and running before the tooling was finished and so forth. Today, you can design it overnight, you can uh, have your 3D models overnight. The speed of technology today is just phenomenal. So Richard, how many staff do you have in the business today? Uh, I believe the last count's about 165. Uh, of those, 125 here in Sydney. But we've got, the others are scattered between our distribution base over in Perth, New Zealand and the USA. But I'm very, very fortunate to have a top management uh, group who look after everything for me. How do you get the best out of your managers? Well, you incentivise them, you teach them, you train them, you, 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 know, you mentor them, you, uh, you bring in people who have got the expertise to start with. They're all highly qualified. And, uh, you know, you look after them. It's as simple as that. It's like our customers. You build the relationships and just uh, and let it keep growing and make sure they have, have some fun along the way. So, Richard, you say you've China-proofed the business to an extent. Yeah. How have you overcome issues of identity theft and counterfeit products? It's a, always a problem for any manufacturer today. However, the best way to stop it is to go out with sensible pricing, clever design, and have a, a network of dealers who are loyal to. And this whole business is very much relationship building, and that's very, very important. So you took the plunge just before the GFC to set up a distribution facility in the States. Correct. <laughs> How did that pan out? I thought to myself, well, it couldn't get any worse than what it was over there. And you know, humble beginnings again, we put reps on the road and end up sell selling one roof rack and I quickly realised this is the quickest way to go broke. So the boys over there, they wanted to go into warehouse distributors, I said no. I said let's go, and mind you the dollar was going against us then as well, but let's go direct to the dot coms who are going direct to the, to the end customer. Now that was the smartest move which we ever made. Do you think that's a tactic other businesses should look at, getting their brand set up firmly online with view to building into bricks and mortar distributions? Well, it's a great lesson here, yes, most definitely. We knew we had to build the best website in the world and we're still working on it. We've got a team of guys, uh, you know, photography people, we've got a team of web developers. It's just so critically important to have the best information there. Now, your product's pretty straight down the line, admittedly. How do you get people excited about it with your marketing? We're very fortunate. The product advertises itself. Once you get it on top of the roof of a vehicle, we've got thousands around the world now, hundreds of thousands of those little advertising signs, those little stickers on every roof rack. So you've been going for 23 years now. What does the business look like in five, ten years' time? I think it'll be, it'll be probably double the size again. In, look, in Australia we grow anywhere between 15 and 20 percent a year. In the US we're growing at uh, 45, 50 per cent and I think that will continue for some time. Now Richard, you're an incredibly accomplished businessman in your own right now. What's your advice to other small business owners? Concentrate on one area and do it well. Learn about that product, travel, whatever it takes, but just concentrate specifically in one area to start with. So from three chunks of metal and your house on the line to this global business, Richard, fantastic. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks Alex, appreciate it.